New developments after we obtained a scathing report detailing numerous safety concerns and abusive living conditions at St. Mary's home in North Providence. Now lawmakers are getting involved. The House Oversight Committee plans on scheduling hearings into the Residential Psychiatric Treatment Center soon. 12 News reporter Kristen Burnell has the latest. Kristen. Kim and Mike, among several allegations listed in the report by the Office of the Child Advocate, is one that St. Mary's CEO and outpatient clinical director coordinated with Bikers Against Child Abuse to monitor the entire campus due to trafficking concerns. St. Mary's home in the spotlight after a searing report revealed safety concerns and abuse allegations at the home. Last week, we told you the Rhode Island Office of the Child Advocate revealed they completed an eight month long investigation into the Residential Psychiatric Treatment Center. Shortly after, the board of St. Mary's Home in North Providence appointed a new interim executive director effective Monday. The former executive director had worked there for three decades, but retired upon the release of the report, where she told the OCA back in May of last year, quote, I wouldn't let my dog come here after OCA toured the campus and noted the current environment was not suitable for any child. The board's action by uh, changing leadership there is the first first uh, good sign that the board is going to really take a, a strong stance in terms of providing the leadership that we need there. 12 News has obtained the lengthy 119 page report detailing several concerns. Major staffing issues, a biker club working security on campus, teenagers overdosing and a 10 year old child sexually assaulted by another child in the home. This after St. Mary's was already placed on a hold and being investigated by DCYF last summer. State legislators are now taking action within the House Oversight Committee. There's some real issues in with St. Mary's home, so we're concerned about that. I mean, we're still getting, I, I think we're gonna have oversight on that issue as well. And Governor McKee says oversight is always welcome. And the House Speaker tells us discussions are in the works for when those hearings will be held. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.